Hey, this is Johnny Cardiz with SFA Baseball, figuring out baseball. Today's drill, the first drill we're going to do today is the uh, tennis ball drill that we use for our catchers. We really work on keeping that uh, arm locked out in a good position for catching. Um, there's a lot of different variations. We use a tennis ball machine. It's a lobster machine that shoots a tennis ball. It's pretty fast, but you don't have to use that. You can just throw them. Uh, anything that allows you to get that tennis ball to your catcher with any kind of pace, so it keeps his hands soft. We're trying to keep the ball in the pads of our fingers. So as you catch the baseball, you're looking to try to catch it here where you can control it versus catching it here in the palm where it bounces out. Um, we turn this machine up as high as we can get it uh, to try to challenge our guys to try to work on softness of the hands. If we catch it correctly, our thumb's underneath the ball and we receive it out front. Not giving too much, not getting too far out, but just catching it nice and easy, trying to keep those hands real, real soft. Notice what we're trying to do is we're trying to get our thumb underneath the ball. Don't be too hard on your catchers if they drop a few because it's going to be difficult. Uh, just like that, the ball is going to hit their hand hard. So what it does is it really teaches them to keep their hands soft and present a good target with their thumb underneath. Uh, what we're looking for is we're looking for nice and easy. We're going to take about 7 to 10 reps and then we're going to rotate. Um, you can vary the height with this machine, uh, throwing it however you want to. Um, what we also like to do is we also like to throw them. Uh, because like i said any pace so if you don't have a machine you don't need the machine all you're trying to do is trying to get your guys to receive the baseball keep your thumb underneath and be able to keep your shoulders behind the baseball so as scholars doing that you'll kind of see a few of those will go off his hand again we don't get too hung up on that all we're trying to do is try to catch as many as we can as your guys get better uh, they will catch more uh, the low ball is always a tough one because it's hard to get the finger underneath but you try to teach you guys to keep that thumb underneath and catch the ball with a nice, easy grip. Keep the ball on your fingertips. Keep the ball on the pads of your fingers and not let it get to your palm. You can go one knee down. You can go a conventional stance. It really doesn't matter because all we're really working on with our catchers is we're working on their hands, their hands and not necessarily their legs. So anybody that uh, wants to go one knee, one knee down uh, to take a little bit of pressure off the knees, we allow them to do that because the most important part of the drill is making sure that we get a good reception. All we're trying to do is we're trying to keep the ball in the pads of our fingers. What does that mean? That means we're trying to keep it in our fingertips here, not at the very edge, edge of our fingers, but in the pads of our fingers where we can control the ball. We want to try to keep the thumb underneath, okay, so that we can control that ball firmly but still keep our hands nice and soft. Don't get too caught up when your guy's catching the palm and, they, and it bounces off. So all we're trying to do is teach that hand to catch as many as possible. Some guys will be able to do seven, some guys will have ten, some guys will only be able to do two out of ten. Don't get too caught up in that continue to work. If you don't have a machine like we do, you can throw the balls. You can hit it with a tennis racket. Anything that allows you to throw the ball to any kind of pace so that your catchers are able to feel, to, to feel what it feels like to keep your hands soft. You also don't have to use tennis balls. You can also use uh, socks, rolled up socks, tape balls, anything that's soft that will not allow them to really close their hand and then, bounce, and then not bounce off. So we're trying to keep it, again, in the pads of our fingers, keep our fingers soft. That's the tennis ball drill. Next video is a uh, receiving video off of, uh, off of a machine.